Well, Chauncey, first off, just again, your, your, your thoughts on this one tonight. Uh, you guys get down a little bit early, come back. It's a close game throughout. Uh, just a few things here at the end of the game seem like they, they keep you guys from maybe getting this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I mean, I thought we played good, man. You know, we had a tough start. They came out and jumped on us. Uh, we had a pretty tough first quarter. And then I thought we turned the tide, you know, towards the end of the first quarter. And then second quarter, I thought Moses Brown came in and gave us some incredible, incredible minutes. Uh, I thought we just needed some size at the time and some rebounding, and somebody that can kind of defend the rim. Uh, and he did that. He did it beautifully. You know, he, he ends up with, and gets 12 rebounds for us, which was all much needed. I thought his minutes were great. Um, but I did. I thought we played well for the most part. You know, um, and then at the end, um, there was just some confusion on the challenge situation, you know, at the end. I don't know. I, I, I just was a little confused on yeah, it, can, you know. Can you expand on that, actually? Because yeah, I, I don't know yeah. why that wasn't successful. Well, yeah, it was just, it was weird. What I, what I was challenging, um, and I knew it was a foul. You know, I told my player, Wap, I said, oh, that's a foul for sure. But they wanted they were saying it was three shots and so i'm like no he didn't have the he didn't gather he didn't have the hand on both both hands on the ball shooting so that's what i'm challenging you know um and then so i'm thinking for sure i'm going to win that and the information that i got on the on on the outcome of it was that when they went over there, that they basically was challenging a foul. I said, no, I'm not, I never challenged the foul. I know it was the foul. But I just knew it wasn't three shots. It was just, it was just a lot of confusion. So that, you know, that was, that was tough. Uh, that was just a big, it was a crucial part of the game. And obviously he, he did. It was only two shots, um, which is what we want anyway. But you lose a challenge, you lose a timeout, um, which hurt, which hurt us. But, uh, yeah, yeah, but, you know, nonetheless, our guys, they played their butts off, man, um, and I'm proud of the effort. Tough loss, Coach. Um, your championship medal does show on your team. Um, can you speak on your team's toughness and grit and will in that mm -hmm. never-die attitude yeah. they showed out on the court tonight? Yeah, I appreciate that. Um, that's what that's who we are. That's who we are, man. We just keep scrapping, you know. No matter what, you know, teams come out and hit us with these haymakers, and um, we never we never go away. We're just gonna keep fighting the whole time. Um, and we had a couple guys play really well. Shaden and Ant, obviously. Scoot thought his minutes were great. Scoot played great um, in this game. So we just don't let up. We just don't let up. You know, um, you might have us down, but we're never out. Hey, Chauncey, on that note, what do you think Scoot gave you tonight? Have you seen him grow in that role overall? Yeah, I thought Scoot was incredible today. His minutes were great. He gave us some great pace. Um, he gave us push. We got to that basket. He playmate for us today. Um, and then he was just aggressive to score as well. So I thought it was one of his best kind of all-around efforts in the game today. Defensively, he's always going to be tough and scrappy. Um, so, yeah, Scoot was, he was big for us the whole time. How have you seen him approach that versus when he was starting games? Say that again, I'm sorry. How have you seen him approach the bench role versus when he was starting games? You know, I think, you know, since he's been back um, and me bringing him off of the bench, it allows him to kind of watch the early part of the game and see what we need, you know, is what I've been trying to preach to him and tell him, like, the advantage of coming off of the bench is you can see what our team needs at the time as opposed to starting a game. Um, then you can come in and bring what we need. You know, if we need a little offense, defense, we need a little more pace, we need some rebounding, we need, you know, some fire. You can assess that, you know, um, before you come into the game.